Mm, bagel. Because of you guys, I know I say the word bagel weird. I'm supposed to say bagel, not bagel. So now whenever I say it, I have to smile like this. Bagel! To make sure I say it right. Bagel! 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 Thanks for the help. Mmm, I love it when the coffee's done. So, it's that time of year again. Graduation. Little Johnny's growing up! For example, tis the season for commencement speaking. Those don't exactly rhyme, but it, not everything has to rhyme, Dr. Seuss! I have one piece of advice that I want to give you that I think will legitimately help many of you, whether you are graduating from high school or college or PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4, whatever. Now, this might not apply to you if you have the rare affliction of knowing what the hell you're doing after you graduate from college or high school. You got a job lined up already and everything's great. I certainly didn't know what the hell I was gonna do, and I still don't. But one very useful thing that I think all of you slackers like me can do is wait tables. Even if you're not a slacker, even if you know exactly what you want to do. Now I'm telling you, you should wait tables not because of all of the several positive reasons like learning how to deal with random strangers, bonding with your coworkers who you're in the good fight with, really good exercise, walking miles a day, having a flexible job that allows you to leave work at work and do other things, in many cases actually make really good money, and even enjoy the job and turn it into a long-term career. Put those ideas aside, those are all great, but for a recent graduate who doesn't know what the hell they're doing, having the skill of waiting tables is something you will always be able to follow back on, no matter where you live, there are restaurants everywhere. Say you don't like living in St. Louis and you want to move to Pittsburgh to see if you can get a job. In the meantime, wait tables. Want to move to LA and chase your dreams? Join everyone else and wait tables. Now, waiting tables, at first, can be very overwhelming and hard. But if you can overcome that and learn that skill, you'll feel a little bit like a superhero. Maybe it'll help you get your head out of the clouds, Mr. Fancy Pants College graduate. I started waiting tables for the first time when I was 23, 24 and I think it changed the way I viewed the world and myself in profound ways. And at times it was the hardest job I ever had, but looking back at all the jobs I've ever had besides this one, it's the one I miss the most. Close second would be when I worked at a video store. I just watched movies and played video games all day. It was wonderful. So consider giving waiting tables a try, and if someday I'm in your restaurant and you're serving me, I'll have a water, please. No ice. And um, let's try the pot stickers. And congratulations on your graduation, whether it's from school or from the couch to the bed. Good job. Thank you for watching. That other project of mine called The Good Stuff is linked right there, but we're also now doing a podcast linked in the doobly-doo. YouTube thinks you'll like that video. Are they stupid? Find out. And if you want to support what I do, you can click like and subscribe, or if you'd like to give me a tip, you can support me on Patreon. See how I tied it into the subject matter of the video? Ha! This is what they pay me for.